So you think last Friday when you were watching him, you could have retrieved him? Yeah, I think so. Even if he died on the spot? Yeah. I was a little nervous about it. I yeah. Still am a little bit, but I thought, well, if we don't have to make two trips across the shaley part, you know, that's kind of cliffy, that would be nice. We found a goat last week. We're going to try to go get him. Due to the rugged terrain that mountain goats inhabit, their populations really can't get that big. And because of that, tags are limited. In fact, they are so limited that Idaho residents only have a single digit percentage chance of drawing a tag. David Fisk is one of the few people who was lucky enough to draw a tag in 2023. And luckily for me, he reached out and asked me to come along. Mountain goats are absolutely wild. The country they inhabit tends to be some of the most extreme, rockiest, and downright dangerous part of the mountain. The terrain they live in and their ability to navigate that terrain is their main defense against predators. This hunt is taking place in central Idaho, which is believed to be the southernmost point that mountain goats naturally existed in at the time of Western expansion. There's a lot of history and work that's been put into making this available for people. So. Sure. Anyway, so we were camped right by this little clump of trees and we just kept peeking around and he's, he was just right over there. So we'll meander over there and see if he's available. see him but I think he might be behind that tree again so we'll check with the spotting scope I just see a little bit of white behind that pine that he was bedded down behind before yeah and I didn't think he would move at all One day we left him for only two hours and we came back and we had to look for an hour to find him again. He crammed himself under a tree over there. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, if he's not moving. The only, the only thing I saw was after an hour I looked at it again and he, he kicked his hoof and a poof of dirt came out from under the tree and I was like, I got him. Like, we're in the same drainage that David and Colton uh, spotted this goat this past Friday. It's been four days, five days since they were here, so haven't spotted them yet. Hoping nobody came in here and shot them. There are only three tags in this unit, so the likelihood of that's pretty slim, and this is kind of a, a hidden spot, not the normal area that, that people would go to, to hunt them. Um, so we're just... Typically the way things go on my hunts for me is the worst possible thing happens. <laughs> like, you would never think that would happen. Oh, it happened. Yeah. So we're, we're hoping to turn them up. They watch them, you watch them for two days? Yeah. They watch them for two days in here. 
and then backed out and then we planned to come in here so we're we're here it's pretty rugged country beautiful stuff though beautiful day pretty exciting you would think that a mostly white animal would be real easy to spot but one of the mountain goats main survival mechanisms is to remain still embedded so as to preserve energy they also blend in very well to light colored rocks and any snowbanks lingering from the past winter I think the only way he would be gone is if somebody shot him. He could be crammed under one of those trees. Did you pick apart all the bases of those trees above where he was? Because I mean, the sun's going to be bad here for a while. Move down this ridge and uh, try to look back up in there more. Because from where he was, there's a couple trees that like you just can't see behind him. He could be laying there. Well, let's do that. Let's move. Let's just go down the ridge some more. I don't know if there's only one spot that he'd like to bed there or right. if he just kind of pops all around wherever he ends up or what. Seems like a lonely, boring life. Yeah, he looked pretty bored. <laughs> we were making jokes like he's just over there like he chewed on this bush a little bit and then he just walked over and he just had his face like up against the rock just like, I hate my life. <laughs> We glass for hours, but never spot the goat, and are beginning to wonder if he moved or was harvested by another hunter. We've been checking every angle we can. We can go on the other side of the rim and look in here, but for two days he stayed right on that face over there, and they said one day, they watched him all day, and he moved a total of 20 yards. So I think that's what we're dealing with is he's not gonna move very much at all. Yeah, we'll go on around to that. This other little bowl. Still nothing, we're moving around the rim trying to peek into all these little crevices. We moved up and around and now we're at the top of the basin. So you can see behind me, we're glassing into this stuff. Down in here is where he was last, or I guess four days ago it was. And so we've just been really picking it apart. Now there is another basin that we're gonna check, boom, right over it. There's actually two that he could go into with some rocks. It's pretty gnarly. This is a cliff right here, gotta find him. Maybe he'll show himself here soon. It can never be too easy. Yeah, one of those setups that you think might be too easy. And then you're like, oh, that's not gonna be any fun. Yeah. It's not even adventurous. So yeah, let's just check up there. Recheck this and then figure out what we have to do. Not much else you can do.
that bull would be man that's hard to walk away from <laughs> midday too thermals oh it's the perfect scenario dude you know. a bedded worked up bull like that yeah. is yeah typically money hard to find he doesn't have any cows he's looking for him he's lonely if you go down just to that yeah easier collar pokes in there about 30 yards shooter yeah. goes another 50 and a few cow calls and you're cutting up elk yeah and then you have nine how many days nine days just for to time. hunt for tom yeah i wish i had my bow you didn't even bring it that's in the truck well let's go get it <laughs> oh we gotta shoot your goat let's, that's let's what do we something do. none of us can stand here and listen to a bull view i can't take it i'm like oh, i gotta get out of here <laughs> <laughs> that would never happen if we were hiking all over for bulls right down here there's a bull bugling every 20 seconds <laughs> But I need my bow. It's like 40 minutes away, dude. Yeah. I will call him in for you. <laughs> we've elected to go get my bow and try to oh, shoot we, it. We've elected, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the decider. I can't believe how excited you are. I thought you'd be like, oh, it's just stupid dude, elk. I love elk hunting. We are dropping all yeah, of our stuff, going to get, to get our spike to stuff, it. and going to go in after this bull. He's bugling his head off and it's one o'clock. So we're gonna try to do that because the goat has not shown himself yet. Let's see what happens here. All right, so we went back to the truck, grabbed the bow, grabbed our camping stuff. So we might have a few, I'd be in here a couple days now, especially if we shoot a bull and a goat. And right, we're gonna head in there and try to get this bull going. So we snuck down in here. We're still on probably three, 400 yards from where that bull was bugling. He's not bugling. We heard him when we were up on the ridge. He sent him further away. So now we're gonna try to ease in there and get him to bugle again. I think he's like 75 yards that way. Downhill is all. Just get right up on that lip and I'll just do a couple calls just in case he's close. And then see one coming up right here. We heard one. Oh, must have been way off. I'm hoping that's a different bull and he didn't cruise. Sam yet? No. I don't know where you're talking about. <laughs> All right, so we have the first big good ledge, right? Yeah. With the green yeah. down below it. Mm -hmm. Come over, there's a small green one. Uh-huh. And there's a the biggest little pine tree pine. there. Mm -hmm. Follow it up, the pine tree behind it, his, his head's poking out to the left. You see his face? Yeah. I cannot get over how good he blends in right now. Like I'm second guessing myself. He must have been behind that tree all day. That was a good spot, dude. I saw the eyes and the horns. That's yeah, it. Yeah, because it's Can't like tell. a side view and you can only see the front half of him. Yeah, if he doesn't move from there, that would be a pretty sweet spot to shoot him. Spot of the goat. <laughs> you picked him up like immediately. <laughs> I got lucky because I was just like, wait, horns and eyes. Uh, so so we went, we, we pretty much gave up. Uh, David has a lot of optimism <laughs> about elk only. He pretty much gave up. Is he? <laughs> and we I did. did. I was like, there's no way we could glass for two hours in the morning. And Not I'm like, he's gone. Like, he's yeah. at the fish and game office. Somebody killed him. And now we came back this evening. I said he was going to be here, on the way here. <laughs> and there he was. Pretty sweet. We spotted him, just watching him on the rock now. He's in a really retrievable spot. Hopefully he doesn't move from there for the morning. It's a little late now for us to be after him. If we can spot him in the morning, we'll go after him and get him right away so we can get him all hiked out tomorrow. It's pretty awesome. Pretty cool animal, beautiful place. Pretty incredible, glad we spotted him. We were getting a little nervous. 
He's literally gone how far, Colton? Huh? How far has he gone? Well, he was like halfway up there. This way's probably gone. Just, I don't know, it might only be 100 yards. 100 yards since Friday? Yeah. <laughs> Not far. That's awesome. Are you more optimistic now? A happy day. Yeah. I can sleep again tonight. You know, you know how many times I looked at that spot today? Well, what a day uh, we did. We're, we're putting that goat to bed right now. He actually moved a little lower, thinking he might go get water. But enjoying the sunset, got the uh, got the tents all set up, gonna spend the night, and hopefully in the morning, he's right there where we left him. So he was obviously there all day today, just in a nook or cranny or something, and never saw him until this evening when I spotted him, so. All right, yeah. Just enjoy this beautiful sunset and enjoy some real nice sleep after a lot of hiking. It's kind of a crazy day all said and done with the elk and everything. So um, yeah, pretty pumped for uh, pretty pumped for tomorrow. This should be should be a real treat. taking off to go and get this goat. I do believe it'll work. It's in a good spot, so it should be a pretty easy recovery and kill shot. So it's gonna be awesome. just like around that little cliffy thing. So, yeah, we can go there. Yeah, if we can't like cut around that. Oh, he's cliff. not right there, you know? Well, yeah, he's like around in the next little dip. Then I thought, you know, get all the way down into the bottom and probably shoot him from. I saw, I saw you turn right and I thought you were heading towards that bull that was bugling down there. Surely he's not right there under that tree. He might tree. be. That's what I was wondering. Is it probably that close? Shouldn't, maybe we should go to the right on this yeah, ridge. I think we should get down a little more. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll, if we could get a good... If, if, he's, if that's the one, which I think it is, then I mean, we'd be right on top of him. We might be able to shoot him from back here. go around. Yeah. Back here somewhere. Probably only 100 yards from us. 
But of course, getting the shot is going to be the biggest challenge, and then making sure we can retrieve him. We're right here. here on the approach and we see a mountain goat climbing across the canyon back by camp it's got to be him looks the same size and we only think there's one in here probably finish the stock out and then loop all the way around and try to get on him over there that's tuck back behind this cliff watch him so he can't see us give him an hour or two yeah i mean we can shoot him from the camp ridge if he stays there. I kind of think maybe he has Colton stay here. And watch him. Let me go around and watch him. Hopefully he stay, if he stays there, we got him easy. Yeah. It's, it's he 250 sees, yards, you know. If he sees somebody here, kind of like a decoy, and we sneak back around, yeah. he won't move. I would have never expected that. No, oh, I, I look over and I'm like, oh, another one in my head, you know? And then I'm like, no, that can't be. So I was like, you were like, is that him? I was like, oh, there's two goats in here. Crazy. Let's still kill this one, though. What even made you look over there? I don't know, but I looked and I caught a big old off-white object. And he kept looking back. Yeah, he's scared of us. But if we go way around the ridge to camp, get up there on a good rest, 250, maybe 300 yards, boom. Oh yeah, that's, I arranged it, it's 159. From ridge to ridge? From, okay. from that, I think we should we go. glassing to that rock. I think we should go. Oh, we're going. Like, I don't think we should wait. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're gonna make the move to him now. We're basically going back to camp. We've been glassing the whole weekend. I would have never guessed that in a million years. He's still right there though. You know, from what we could see, we can Probably get a shot here, if not here, further down the ridge. Um, so we're about to peek over there and see what happens. Is he on this ledge here, or is he on that next one? I don't know.
think you got him, but shoot him again. He's going down in that crevice. He'll fall when he loses his muscle, though. I'm not going to shoot him again because okay. I don't want to dump him there, so. He's dying. I think he is going to fall. It didn't seem like I hit him. Uh-uh, he didn't move, did he? I always heard they act like that. He's dead, like dead, dead. Wow. Man, that's going to be a... A crawl. A chore. Well, we got him. How did he not fall? I don't know. What that's heck? what I was wondering, too. Like, look at that little spot he's in. I'm like, I'm going to shoot him again because I want him to fall. And I was kind of <laughs> thinking, like, well, maybe if you shoot him again, he'll move. <laughs> and he's dead. Good shooting. 150 yards? Yeah, dude, I don't know. That's going to be tough to get to. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look bad, dude. Can you see him? Oh, yeah. That's like nothing. We can climb right up there. Uh, he's above us quite a bit, but doesn't mean we can't climb up there too. Look, there's his tracks walking yeah. up there. Oh yeah, I think we can, he's up on that ledge up there to the right, uh, right above us right now. Yeah, I don't know if I can go up there. As many goat hunters are, we're faced with a predicament. The goat died on a tiny ledge that is really hard to reach and it would almost be impossible to break down the goat from this position. But luckily, we brought Colton along. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to take two. Can you go to the right of that? Is there like a ledge? Not really. I think that's the way. I'm going to have to put the camera on my pack before I do this. Does he smell? Jeez! What's he look like? Like a goat. The goat is heavy. Oh, really? <laughs> well, if you can't do the rope thing, then just push him off the edge. Okay. He's going to push him. <laughs> See the nuts? Yeah. <laughs> Is it heavy? He can't even if anything move. comes, just duck down. Don't try to back up. Oh boy. Shit, he's gonna fall right by us. Oh, he's still going intact. Yeah, he looks fine. Yeah. Well, that's good. Good, good job. job, Colton. Thank you. I'll be fine.
Nice. Well executed. That was on purpose. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, without that being gone. He's big. Would have scored really good, probably. That is a large mountain goat. Yeah. So we got to get blood sample. Just a blood sample, or you got and then you sample too? nasal swab. Oh, okay. Move the swab, swirl it around, and repeat in the other nostril. Okay. So pretty easy. Biology. We got them all broken down. I'm hiking up out of the drainage, but what a freaking hunt, right? Just an amazing experience. Just felt so lucky to, to be able to do that. So pretty awesome. 